The more I play around with chat GPT, the more it amazes me. Don't believe me? Check this out. Give me a prompt to generate image of a boy in a mountain with snow. This is the output that is generated. Give me a prompt to generate image of a boy in a mountain with snow. This is the chat GPT output and this is the diffusion output. Isn't this amazing? If you too want to create the entire solution that I've created, then watch the entire video and you will get a gist of how I've gone about using Whisper, OpenAI's chat GPT as well as stable diffusion to create this amazing solution. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. This is part 3 of my chat GPT video. Part 1 I've covered how to use chat GPT along with Python. Part 2 I've used chat GPT along with Python and I've also integrated Whisper to take in audio input. Part 3 which is this video is where I'll show you how you can generate images through your voice and all of this is done through machine learning and the place where we've reached right now is so amazing. So if you've not seen the first two parts, I'll highly encourage you to watch the first two parts. I'll attach the link in the description section of the video. Feel free to check those out before moving on to the third part. Now let's start the show. For this entire solution, I'll need Gradio, I need PyChat GPT. I need Whisper as well as I need diffusers, transformers and the other libraries for making stable diffusion work. So now I'll quickly run this cell to install all the necessary modules that I require. Now that the installation is done, let me now go forward and import the necessary modules. So these are the modules that I'll be requiring. I'll quickly run the cell. I don't want a lot of warnings to appear which is something that I've observed right now. So which is where I'll kind of run this particular cell which is warnings.filter warnings and I ignore the warnings. So I'll quickly run this. You will require a session token in order to run the PyChat GPT module which is something that I've explained in the first video. Please have a look. It's very simple. Now the only thing that I'll do is I'll just paste the current session that I'm on. So that is something that I'll do. So I'll paste the current session's value here and I'll run the cell. I'll load OpenAI's Whisper model which will help me to transcribe my audio and generate text. So I'll quickly run the cell as well. The entire activity I want to perform this on a GPU. Performing this entire activity on a CPU would take a lot of time. So I want to check if my model is actively running on the GPU or not which is where model.device would come into picture. As you can see, the model will execute on the GPU. This is the most backbone version of the diffusion model that I could find. So I've basically taken the model ID. I've created a scheduler object. I have also created a pipeline, which is the stable diffusion pipeline from the pre-trained model. And I've saved it into a variable called as pipe. And this pipe will also run on my GPU. Uh, so if you run the entire piece of code on CPU, it will take like ages and I want the entire execution to be fast, which is where I've set pipe to CUDA. So this is the diffusion layer part. So I'll quickly run this as well. The stable diffusion model is downloaded. Now let's go forward to the transcribe function. I've already covered the in-depth analysis of the transcribe function in the second part of the chat GPT series. Feel free to watch the entire video to know more about it. But just to give you a recap, here is where I'm loading the audio. Here is where I'm making a long mail spectrogram. I'm detecting the language and here is where I'm generating the text. The final text that is generated from the model is saved into the variable result underscore text. This text will pass through the chat GPT session that I've created. I'll pass in the secret token here through the object that I've created which is chat GPT underscore API. I'll send the message with the result that was generated from whispers module. So whatever result that I get in form of response is something that I save into a variable called as out underscore result. Now finally from this prompt that I generate, I pass the entire prompt 
to my stable diffusion pipeline so out result is basically text which will contain a prompt that will signify what type of text that there is and what type of image I want to have so what is the size that is the height and width of the images also that I'm specifying here and finally I'll generate the out image so it's an entire pipeline wherein you are speaking audio the audio is converted to text the text is converted to an image and all of this is something that you will see live in front of you right now so now let me quickly run the cell and this is the final piece of code wherein I have three outputs right now the input will be audio the first output is basically the speech to text value the second output is the chat GPT output and the final output is the image that you see that you have thought about so isn't this amazing so let me quickly run this cell now let's start the demo now let me show you the magic of the entire solution that I've created give me a prompt to generate image of a boy in a mountain with snow first time when you execute this the entire process will take a while but second time onwards the entire process would be much more quicker so here is magic give me a prompt to generate image of a boy in a mountain with snow this is the chat GPT output and this is my diffusion output look at the detail that the diffusion model is able to generate I have white mountains here I have a boy fabulous I'm just mesmerized looking at this um, I'm speechless let me try something different now give me a prompt to generate an image of a penguin on a beach so this is the prompt that I gave through an audio which is give me a prompt to generate an image of a penguin on a beach so here is a chat GPT output which is fabulous look at the detail of this image so if I show you the entire image all of this was just a thought I spoke to my machine and the machine gave me this output I am truly mesmerized in terms of how you can use different machine learning models that are readily available as a service and create a web application or a product like this I am truly out of words and this is something that I wanted to share with all of you in terms of how amazing the data science ecosystem is currently I hope you found this video informative because I really enjoyed the entire process of creating this video if you do like the video please press on the like button share it across with your friends press the subscribe button press the bell icon for more such videos on data science and machine learning thank you so much for watching the video Thank you.